Hi, I'm Patricia and I found my life purpose. <laughs> yeah, for me that's something really, really big because I looked for it for so, so long. But just when I started to do this thing that I will talk about it in this video, I finally, finally found it. Before it was just a searching and searching and being lost and don't know what to do. And yeah, but now I know it. But first I will tell you a bit about myself so you know with whom you're talking. Okay, as I told you, I'm Patricia, I'm from Switzerland. I grew up in a, in a Swiss city, was not happy as a child, was not happy as an adult <laughs> too. I changed a lot of cities, I changed a lot of places, I went to school, I hated school, I hated to be with other people and do all the stuff that other people are doing and I just did not feel at home or doing my life purpose. So for me being in that system of that normal school and normal work life was just not for me. <laughs> I knew it from the beginning, it was just really hard to accept and it was really hard to live like this um, because I saw that most other people could live this kind of life, but I could not. But why was I struggling that much? I felt that this kind of culture um, that I was born in just gave me this, this option. So in Switzerland it was just like, okay, you go to school, then you will work your ass off and then maybe with 65 years you stop working and you can live and do whatever you want. And in the meantime, while you're working, just buy a lot of stuff and try to yeah, be happy with that. So this was something that really, that I really, really struggled. Also I struggled because I had many interests, so I did not know what to, what to do in my life. I felt that I have a purpose in life, but I just did not know what it was. And I wanted to live free, as free as possible. But this was I felt, what I felt and what I wanted just did not fit with the life I was living back home. So what, what did I do with 34 years, I guess? Yeah, I'm 36 now, so with 30, no, I'm not yet. 36. <laughs> With 34 years I left Switzerland. It means I stopped working. I started this full-time travel life. <laughs> really nice and I'm really really happy and grateful to live this kind of life. But I was still looking for my life purpose. Of course it's nice to live like this. Of course it's amazing to travel the world and not having to live in this corporate life. But it was still not my life purpose. A nice lifestyle but not a life purpose. Good. Okay, so I was driving around because I bought a van <laughs> and um, I did this, this, or I'm still doing this van life and I was looking for my purpose again and again and again. And before I will tell you what exactly helped me to find it, I want to tell, tell you also what helped me maybe to find it, but it was absolutely not that really important point that I will tell you soon, soon, soon. Okay. What was it? For me, one of the important steps was to change perspective, to go out of this life that I was living in Switzerland and to see that there is an endless amount of ways how you can live a life. Like really, really, really. I saw while traveling, I met so many people and everyone is living a different kind of life. Most of them were traveling also or are traveling also full time. So that means they are not living this nine to five life and still living good and still uh, surviving. <laughs> and, um, and so this really, really helped me to change the perspective. Also, I started to understand that these kind of people are not different than I am. Of course, they're different. Everyone is unique, but they don't have something more than I have. They don't have more money. They, they are not more intelligent. They're, they're just normal humans. And this was one of the things that helped me to see, okay, if I want to live as a different kind of life, I'm able to do that. It's just in my hands. Great, okay, great, I know, I knew that. And, but still, where was my life purpose? What also helped me was to, I was already on this spiritual way, path in my life, like since, since I can remember. And, but it was also helped me to know or to read about light workers and empath. So that helped me to understand why I'm a bit strange <laughs> or a bit weird. But all these things like going away, leave, uh, leaving my home country, stop working in a corporate job, um, knowing about light workers and empaths, seeing these other people, how they live, this all helped me, but I still could not see my life um, path. 
Like, what is my path? Which one should I go? Because there are so many. <laughs> uh, which one is the one that I really, really need to go? I'm about to tell you that one thing, how I found my life purpose. And in the meantime, you could maybe give this video a like. And if you like all the spiritual stuff and you started to like me, then I would be really happy if you subscribe so you will see more. Then it's not so long ago, I did something that I thought I was doing all the, all the time, but I was not. And it is being authentic, being my real, real self, being my true self, like really, like not just a bit, like really, really, really being authentic. The famous psychologist Jung said that we all play roles. We all um, come in this life and understand that there are things that the people around us like and don't like. That maybe our parents want that we are good in school, that we, that we should be nice to each other. And these are all these things that start um, the, the feeling or the urge that you need to play a role in this life. And these are different kind of roles. It could be you're playing one role or wearing one mask in school, one in the workspace. Um, one with your family, one with your friends. And I'm pretty sure that you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure that you know at least one role that you are playing, where you're not really yourself. It's normal in our psyche or with our psyche that we do this, that we play a role, also maybe to protect ourselves. And, um, but the problem is that if you do it for too long, or too many roles, or you're really good in one, um, that you forget who you are. You forget what, what you really want. Um, you forget what, what your heart wants. Like you can play those roles. And sometimes it's even good, like you are with people you don't know and maybe you just want to be friendly, even if you don't like the situation or the, per the person. So it's okay to wear this mask, but it's only okay if you know your authentic self and that usually you can live your authentic self. That's the most important part of it. If you're playing roles and you don't know who you really are behind this mask, that's not okay. You should really, really, really start to find yourself again. Learn your real self, not something that you think that could be nice, but really, really your authentic self. Who are you? So and now the question, when you're your true self, your authentic self, what is it that you really like? What is it that you really like doing? What is it that you really don't like? Um, where do you feel most yourself? In which moments you feel your heart open up and how can you imagine to live? Like if you, if you, if you would wake up tomorrow and during the night wonders happened and tomorrow morning your dream life came true, not your dream life, for, I don't know, Instagram or something, just your really, really true dream life. Like, how do you really want to live? How, what do you really want to do? If you would wake up tomorrow morning and every word, everything would be fulfilled, how would your life look like? So just be authentic, okay? I know, it can be difficult. But look at in that way. Your authentic self, your true self, it's in you. It's not like your life purpose that you have to look for somewhere else or outside yourself. Your true self, it's inside you. It's you. In other words, you don't have to search it. You have to find it. <laughs> it's already there. How did I do it? So how could I start to be my authentic self? I woke up one day and decided that it's time. It's just time to be myself. I don't have to I can't waste more time to not be authentic. Like, no, it's not possible. I don't have time for that. I really, really want to be myself now. I really want to live my life purpose. I was still not knowing what it is. Um, but I just wanted to be myself finally. Let go of all these masks, let go of the roles. And most importantly, don't care what other people say. Because you know what? Everything that someone else thinks or says has nothing to do with you. Like really nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, I'll give you an example. Um, okay, I had this idea of traveling full time, uh, earning money online somehow and just, yeah, live this full time travel life. Okay, can you imagine in Switzerland where most people 
do this nine to five life and just can't imagine something else. So there were people who were saying, yeah, mm, you know, like, what, what are you thinking? Did you really think you can travel that long? Yeah, you can go traveling for a year or maybe six months, but like, no, like, how do you want to do that? And making money online, okay, no, but think about when you're older, like this, this all this stuff, it's, it's impossible. You cannot live like that. I don't know if you already understood, but these kind of words is because someone or this person who is saying that does not believe that this kind of life is possible. So do you see the difference? This person who was saying that it's impossible, they have their brain and they are thinking, or this person is thinking that it's impossible. But I'm, that I started to, to think, okay, this kind of life could be possible. What do they have in common? Nothing. Like if this person doesn't believe in that, and just says it, it doesn't have to do with me, like nothing. So everything else is the same. Everything that someone says to you, thinks about you, has nothing to do with you. Please, please write that down because it is like this. It's the same. Just think about how you think about someone else or how, what you are saying to someone else. Does it have really to do with, with this person? No, it has to do always with yourself. Because most of the time we are not authentic because we are scared that someone will not love us anymore or that, so, that people do not accept us or that we are not lovable or that we are not okay like this. And this is a fear that is just in us and this just keeps us from being authentic. But when you start to be really authentic, something else happens. The love grows you will be more loved instead of less loved. Because first of all, you will love yourself more. When you start to live this authentic life or you start to be really yourself, the love for yourself will grow automatically. Even if you have like self-love problems um, or you, you think that you're not loving yourself yet, being authentic will help you a lot with growing your self-love. And secondly, being yourself will attract more people that are real, more people that are, that will love to see you authentic and they feel that you are yourself and so they want to be it too. So you will be kind of a beacon of light, <laughs> a beacon of authenticism, Authentic authenticity, Authent okay, you know what I mean. And this is something that other people feel and so they want to be that too. So believe me, being authentic will give you more love in life. But we are still talking about life purpose. So wow, do go these two together. Okay, when I started to really be authentic, I really, really felt what I wanted. I thought about, okay, when I'm really myself, what do I want? How do I want to live? Another result of being authentic could be that old things will fall away or apart. It could be that the life that you are living now will change that you want to change it, that you don't want to live this life anymore, that you change your pri priorities. And that's, that's a good thing. Like, think about, you're just wasting your time if you're not authentic, if you're not living what you want to live, what, what is your truth. And the other result is that you start seeing what you really want. Other things fall away and new things will come and you will know what you want from the new things. When I started to embracing my true self, my ever-changing and evolving self, I understood what my life purpose is. I finally started doing what I always wanted to do. That was the strange thing. It was always there. I always knew what my life purpose is. I just was not brave enough to allow myself to want it, to allow myself this life, to allow myself to go in the direction of this life and to be on that life purpose path. And how, how did I understand that I'm on this path? <laughs> and how can you understand it? You will feel calm and curious in the same time. That means now that I'm on my path, I'm just okay with it. I'm just okay if it's not going fast, if it's not the things that I want are not here yet, because I know I'm on the right path. I'm where I want to be. I will arrive where I want to be. And these things where I want to be can always change because we are always changing. We are growing. And so my life purpose will grow with me. So ask yourself, who are you really? And who are you afraid to be? Give yourself permission to be who you are. 
Give yourself permission to want what you want and give yourself permission to live that life that is your life purpose. If you're still watching, you may want to know what my life purpose is. And my life purpose is to help people to be spiritual, to help people in a spiritual way, to live free and to be happy. And where do I see myself in 10 years? I have no idea. But one thing is sure, I will be fulfilling one of my dreams. Being or wanting to be authentic is something typical when you're changing to 5D consciousness. Do you want to know if you're already switching to it? Then watch this video next. Thank you so much for liking this video and subscribing to my channel. See you in the next one.